Welcome to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the design tensile strength of a tension member and check its advocacy against the given loads according to the AISC specifications. The question is shown above, which states that the tension member shown in the figure is C9 into 15 and is made from A572 grade 50 steel. Determine its design tensile strength and find if it can safely support a service dead load of 40 kips and service live load of 60 kips. We have to use both LRFD as well as ASD. First from AIC steel construction manual properties of C9 into 15 are gross area of the channel section is equal to 4.4 in square. Thickness of web is equal to 0.285 inch. Distance from centroid of connected area to the plane of the connection is equal to 0.586 inch. Diameter of bolt is given in the question as 3 by 4 inch. Diameter of bolt hole is equal to diameter of bolt plus 1 by 8, which is equal to 7 by 8 inch. We can see that there are two bolt holes along the critical section therefore the net area is given as gross area minus number of bolt holes into thickness of web into diameter of bolt hole putting values we get the net area of the section as 3.9013 in square length of the connection is given in the question as 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 inch shear lag factor is given as 1 minus x bar divided by L which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.586 divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.9023 effective area of the section is equal to shear lag factor into net area which is equal to 0 0.9023 multiplied by 3 into 9013 which is equal to 3.52 inch square properties of uh, a572 grade 50 steel R yield strength is equal to 50 ksi ultimate strength is equal to 65 ksi therefore the nominal strength in yielding is given as yield strength into gross area which is equal to 50 into 4.40 is equal to 220 gips nominal strength in rupture is given as ultimate strength into effective area which is equal to 65 into 3.52 is equal to 228.8 kips. For LRFD, the design strength based on yielding is given as resistance factor into nominal strength in yielding, which is equal to 0 0.9 into 220, which is equal to 198 kips. Similarly, design strength based on rupture is equal to resistance factor in rupture into nominal strength in rupture, which is equal to 0 0.75 into 228.8, which is equal to 171.6 kips. Since the strength in rupture is smaller of the above two values, it controls the design. Therefore, the design strength of section for LRFT is 171.6 kips. Ultimate load according to the ASCE 7 loading combination is given as 1.2 into dead load plus 1.6 into live load. Putting values, we get the ultimate load equal to 144 kips. Since the design strength is greater than the ultimate load, therefore the member is advocate to carry the load safely according to LRFT. Now, ASD for ASD allowable strength in yielding is given as nominal strength in yielding divided by safety factor in yielding, which is equal to 220 divided by 1.67, which is equal to 131.74 kips. Similarly, allowable strength based on rupture is equal to nominal strength in rupture divided by safety factor in rupture which is equal to 228.8 divided by 2 which is equal to 114.4 kips since the strength in rupture is uh, smaller of the above two values it controls the design therefore the allowable strength of section for ASD is 114.4 kips 
allowable load according to ASC sound loading combination is given as dead load plus live load putting values we get the allowable load as 100 kips since the allowable strength is uh, greater than the allowable load member is advocate to carry the load safely according to the ASD so this represents how to calculate the design strength of tension member according to the LRFT and ASD hope you guys learned something from this uh, video and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next video